I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today, I'm going to show you what could be the best traditional bow on the market. These are handmade by Dan Tolke in Montana. Dan makes both longbows and recurves in one piece and takedown models. His attention to detail is extraordinary, making each bow he sells a true one of a kind work of art. These are definitely not an assembly line bow. If you don't know what bow is best for you, just call Dan himself and he'll walk you through the decision making. Dan loves his work and has been nothing short of kind and a wealth of knowledge every time my buddy James or myself have called to talk over bows. James and I each own a Chinook and a Pika, and I must say we have been very happy with them. They are the perfect complement of each other, and the best of the longbow or recurve side of trad bows. As for the price, the bows you'll see in this video we paid around $800 to $900 for, which is not bad in comparison with the price you'll pay for the other top end trad bows on the market. Dan Tolke makes amazing bows and I would recommend checking them out. So the first bow we're going to show you guys today, this is the Pika. It's a, considered a short long bow, so it's only 56 inches, but has the characteristics and design of your standard 60, 65 inch long bow. This particular bow is 48 pounds at 28 inches. I don't really pull 28, I'm only pulling right around 26, so take a little bit off that. I'm pulling right around 45 pounds with this. But it's incredibly smooth, incredibly forgiving, and the bow itself is just a masterpiece. It, it truly is a work of art. Linen micarta on the riser, bamboo cores. This is all custom picked by me. Dan made this bow to my specs. It's a dark mango on the veneers. And then there's East Indian rosewood on these inlays you see right here on the back of the riser. All right, I'm gonna take a couple shots now with this pica. It's a 510 grain arrow. And I'm more of a snap shooter, so if you notice me not holding back, it's because I don't like aiming. The more I aim, the worse my shot is. And we're at 20 yards right now. And as you just heard, or didn't hear for that matter, this bow is just incredibly quiet. And zero hand shock. The second bow we're going to look at today, this is the Tolki Chinook. It's a 50 style recurve. Incredibly light. This particular bow has spalted maple limbs with a cherry riser, again bamboo cores. This bow is heavier than the Pika and a lot faster. It's 56 pounds at 28 inch draw. We're going to take a couple shots with this bow now so you can get an idea of it. And again, it's faster, but it is just as quiet and dead in the hand. So just like the first bow that James showed you, this is going to be another pica. However, mine is done in tiger myrtle down the limb, which you can see right here, and then bacote on the riser. And this gives a little bit of a different color down the back side. Um, and these are ultra lightweight. I don't have a quiver on mine. And this comes in at about a pound and a half. So there's just absolutely nothing to it. So I'll fling a few with this. And you'll see there's not much of a noise difference from putting a quiver onto it. It's just a tiny bit in the weight. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and grab the Chinook. The second bow is going to be a classic Chinook. So a difference with the classic Chinook is it's going to have the leather grip on it and the thumb rest isn't going to be cut out as deep. The wood on this is going to be Myrtle and then Bacote as you come down over onto the grip. And then here's your leather 
that goes across. And if you notice, here's your thumb hold on that and the thumb hold on a pica, and it's definitely a lot bigger on the pica, which you may or may not like. To be totally honest, for me, it kind of is what it is. I like each one. Um, they're just different. So here's a few with this. Like James said, the recurves of the Chinooks are a little faster. Um, but there's really no extra noise with it. They are a little bit heavier, uh, but you're talking half a pound. And there you go. So if you aren't if you aren't familiar with uh, Tolkien bows and you're familiar with say Black Widow customs, I've shot both a uh, considerable amount of time, both the Black Widows and the Tolkies, and I can say without a doubt, this Tolkien pica right here is smoother, has better flexation, and it seems a lot more dead in the hand. And as far as just craftsmanship goes, and I know it's kind of subjective for me to say this, but until you really do lay eyes on one of these Montana longbows by Dan Tolke up close, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I highly recommend going to MontanaLongbows.com and checking these bows out for yourself. And specifically, the pica and the whip. I've shot a whip a couple times, loved it. Don't have one, but this pica in my opinion, it's just an unbelievable bow. The cast of the arrow, the silence of the bow, and the beauty. And the size. Super small, extremely maneuverable. And Can't forgiving. Know. That's another thing. It's a <laughs> short, it's a short long bow at 56 inches, but it's extremely forgiving. In closing, if you're looking for an excellent traditional bow from an excellent traditional bow manufacturer, I would definitely encourage you to go take a look at Dan Tolke's lineup. He has a bunch of different models. Uh, he can make them to fit you specifically to what you want. Give him a call. Uh, he loves to have conversations on the phone. He will talk to you, figure out exactly what you're looking for, spend that time to make sure you are happy with what you get. He takes care of his customers. Um, if you have an issue with the bow manufacturing wise, give him a call. Uh, he is definitely a friend of yours. So I would encourage you to take a look on his website, see what you think, but I would give one a try. This is a bow that will last you for the rest of your life. Pass them on and be a great hunting or just shooting tool. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel to watch more reviews coming soon and uh, any other content that we can come up with. Thank you, and uh, thanks for watching.